Hello, I'm Nord and I'm back with a new video and today I'm gonna be unboxing here the a John Deere Mo Conditioner 635 or Moco 635 for short I think from Britain's Ertl and this is part of a order I did I had a few days ago or a few weeks ago and I not only ordered this but also this the C Kufama 132R4040i self-propelled self sprayer which I'm going to be doing a, another unboxing of separately a John Deere branded orange safety vest they also had a yellow one but I'm more like the orange ones reminds me kind of of railway workers and these two mold tractors, the which are both from the which are both from from the blister series. This one is the nine six hundred nine five hundred sixty R, and this one is the eight four hundred sixty RT. So it's the it's from the ART series, and this is from the normal nine R series. So let's get to the box of the mower, and as you can see, it's basically the John Deere, it's John Deere branded. But I mean, I got it through the local John, through my local dealership, which is which is John Deere. So yeah, here are just some pictures pictures on each side. Here you can see mower conditioner six hundred thirty five. The top of the box, and the bottom just has legal information, all that. So let's get right into it. And for that I usually go under here because there are two latches. And I first have to take out this one. And then I'm going to have to take out this one to then be able to take out the inside of the box. And sprit and this is actually kind of a go away from Siku because well I've always been a Siku person due to me having lived with Siku for close to all my life. And I've only started with Britain with the Britain's models from well when I did the work experience with this thing with this one, which is a special edition to uh, which is the special edition one hundred years of John Deere night uh, which is the special edition 100 years of John Deere uh, 6195 M if I'm correct and it will it won't it won't focus the camera but I can tell you that it says there's 6195 M so here we've got the mower and it's actually pretty heavy and it's Trapped in here with these cable holders, but and I've already came prepared with the sh with this with these scissors, so I won't have to do that much cutting. But be careful, but be careful with sharp ob objects in general. I don't think ah there we go one cut one strap down. And I think, and this is here this front part loose. So, and I think it's easier for me to do it from down here. So take that part out. Now take now for this. I'll be right back once I've cut them through. And after some cutting, I've actually managed to get it out. And this is actually, and I actually just ended the part where I unboxed this accidentally. <laughs> I may have to upload this as a two-parter, or just try and edit it, edit this together. So yeah. But as you can see, the, it actually, it, it does look 
relatively nice and the steins actually spin as well. And here the wheels which are on the mower also lift up also well they're able to lift out but it can I kinda have some problems. Oh no. It's just that this one went a bit too far. Out. There. Nope. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. So that's now that's now properly in transport mode. I think that's now transport mode. And for when you want to use it, you just have to put these in. And well, that just now wasn't exactly transport mode. This is now transport mode. But if you want, and if you want to use it, you just go and put these wheels down so that they touch, so that the whole mower touches the ground. And that here, that that these, and um, you just have to attach it to a tractor. And I just used it. I'm just going to put it on my special edition 6195M. If I can get it, I mean this thing is heavy. And start back the camera. <sighs> yeah, maybe I should try a sickle coupler. Ah oh, no, there we go. So it's now attached. So yeah. This is now in mowing, in the mode when you want to mow, and surprisingly, it the cil the map the cylinder here is pretty well. Let's just say it's pretty loose. So yeah. So this is now in the mo mode when it's mowing, and I guess the real yeah. I guess it's just put a lot of force from the carpet, which is why it isn't really running in the line it's supposed to run, so yeah. On the glass pane here, it does work, and if I fold it in now, and put the wheels down, I'm sure that's going to be annoying that the cylinder is going, is, pop, is popping out, but I mean, <laughs> that's how I bought it, so yeah. So, and this is now the transport mode, where it's running behind. And then I've also got a John Deere mode besides the two Coon mouse I have. And because of Siku and, well, and because of uh, Siku and Britain couplers basically being the same, they can, they can attach to each other, so if I'll just demonstrate that. Just have to take off the mower, but, well, the rear one. So, and now to put it on the 6110, uh, 6210R, if that will, if the coupler will get, will go on, that's just relatively annoying sometimes on such machines. But there we go, it's on now. And it's right, and yeah, you can see that it fits. So, and then it also gets pulled, <laughs> but it's relatively well. But it's not too easy to get the. Well, it's relatively easy to get these to get this into the other mode. So yeah, but still, it's a nice machine. So yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry that that wasn't on the camera. Yeah. So yeah. This was the um well this was the unboxing of uh, John Deere Moco six hundred and thirty-five. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon 
or in the next video when I'm unbox when I'm unboxing the self-propelled self-propelled sprayer. So, bye.